could have at least ran the corn by the road so the neighbors could have seen. Another day. Right, this is Sunday. We're really starting to work seven days a week here lately, but uh, missing a lot of tools out of my truck. Uh, came in here and did some projects this summer and never put them back in there. So I gotta get my grease gun, my impact. Remember that combine claim we went to and we got that free grease? Coming in handy said this last winter but this year we are cleaning this shop out in the winter time I want you guys to hold me to that because it's a wreck I've got a couple things on the day's plate this is Sunday I'm not planning on working a super late day when we unhooked the disc we kind of screwed up we should have went down there and looked at the wet holes that are real rough turns out they're fairly dry I'm gonna hook it back up hit those real quick before it rains again just so we can get those smoothed up after that I've got to grease the dryer we might grease the dryer first. I don't know. Uh, my brother had some stuff going on first. I'd like to do that disking while he's there so he can get some get some time in the tractor, get a little bit more familiar with it. But we'll head over and see what we can make happen. I had to stop at the office and take care of some important stuff. Dad hasn't been able to watch RFD TV since he cut cable, so I had to sign him up for Sling TV. I'm gonna use Dad's tractor today. It's the easiest one to get to. So I don't feel like emptying the shed to get to the 1038. The John Deere's over at the home, so. <laughs> Mild delay. Most of our equipment, the jacks are shot on. This one's no exception. The tongue of the disc is on the ground. I need to throw a chain in my truck, but I don't have one. If I did, I would pick it up with a three-point hitch and back the tractor under it, but I don't have one, so I'm waiting on Dad to bring me a chain. We need to get some jacks this winter. All right, I think we're ready to go. Way easier if we just have a jack on this. Before we get stuck, I'm just gonna walk out in here. It looks dry on top, and it's a little tacky. I think I'll be able to get through it okay, but I hate to get out here and sink. It's dried out quite a bit in the last few weeks, especially since we put those turnips in. It's dried out quite a bit. So. Pulling one side deeper than the other, that's not any good. Things are finger pinchers. I'm not a huge fan of running the disc. It's not my uh, favorite tillage practice in the world. But like I said, this ground's extremely uneven from last fall. A lot of ruts in it and it really just needs smoothed out and right now this is the best tool for that job that we have. There are probably better tools out there but this is what we have. So, like I said a few videos back, a lot of this problem is groundwater where the water table is so high but uh, still would like to rip this just because we could pack it in so much the year before harvesting when it's wet. Yep, ideal conditions. You can definitely tell if there's water on that ground. No George lunch today, just me. Flat tire. BJ brought me my truck, got the tire pump back up. I think he's gonna ride around with me for a little bit, get some seat time in this. And then maybe we'll go over and grease the rest of the dryer and stuff. Or maybe we won't, I don't know, it's Sunday. My brother helping now, one thing that's gonna be a huge struggle for me, delegating jobs to him. Like, this is, like, he could definitely do this. I could be doing something else, probably more productive, but I like doing these kind of things. I think that's something a lot of farmers struggle with. Where you can be the most productive isn't all, always necessarily where you want to be. I don't know, we'll see how that goes. I would like to do this just because I'm a little bit more familiar with maybe where the wet holes are in this field, whereas he's not. We'll see, I might turn him loose here in a second. Probably what I'll do is I'll do it the first time and then I'll let him go back over to help smooth it out some. While BJ's out disking that field, I'm gonna walk down here to this uh, cucumber patch that I showed you a few videos ago. 
and see if uh, we were able to kill that with the roundup. All right, as you can see, this cucumber, I mean, it's, it's dying. One thing, I might have confused everybody in the last video when I said cucumber. This is burr cucumber. This is a weed. It is different than, this is different from the vegetable you'd buy from your local produce producer. There is no uh, vegetable on it. More or less looks like a cuckle burr. And I mean, you can see, we killed it. This is what it does. It just blankets over corn. And like I say, I've seen it way worse than this. I think we still have some out in there a ways, so I'm gonna have to see what dad wants to do about it. Frost would kill it. That would be good, but I don't want a frost yet because hey, it's September 15th. Don't need one yet. Need one in about a month. But yeah, it just kind of drowns out the corn. OH. IO. It's an Ohio thing. Figured while I was back here, might as well grab a couple couple ears off the back corner of this field. Now, these aren't the greatest ears, but they're also in the back corner of the field with some shade. And it's had some water issues. So they can't all be as good as that other field. All right, BJ's finishing up this and bring the tractor back. I'm gonna grease this dryer real fast. I think that's gonna be it for today. We'll see, see what else we can get into. That might be it, I don't know. Like I said, it is Sunday. You guys think you'll tear down the doors? Let's we'll find out together. He made it. All you smashed up. I would drive grease up here. The tube of grease in my uh, truck. First time I've used it. If it's a snake, that's your department. Uh, if it's a snake, we're burning this place to the ground. That's it for now. I think Dad's gonna come over and spray his cucumbers here this afternoon. We're gonna go uh, have some Sunday fun day time. Morning. We're starting on the lake today. You know what that means? means climbing to the top of this bin every day again. It's like dad was busy start making the ramp up to the uh, to the dump and finish this road around it. Hopefully these guys bring the leg and I, I don't know, they usually get here around nine so it's only eight o'clock so I'm not waiting around for them. See? New road. Time for the morning meeting. Got a plan. Don't know what it is. Let's go. Told you we didn't have a clue what the plan was. I had no idea we were doing that. One thing I did know about, we are taking that dump truck right there to uh, town to get fixed. Popped an airbag on it about a month ago. Haven't got it fixed yet. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna have them guys do it. We're running out of time. And we're probably going to need that at some point during harvest. But I get asked a lot why we have a stock trailer just randomly over at the grain bins. That's why, so we keep all of our chemical in. Okay, we took the truck in, back from that. We have two bags of radishes left, and can't take the seed back, so we're just going to throw them in that ground we dished yesterday and see what they do. Turns out the Kubota doesn't ride as good as the Challenger. Dad's getting his corn head greased. We really don't have a whole lot to do with the combine since we did wheat. I mean, we really only put maybe 30 hours on each machine in wheat harvest, so we gotta hit the 10 hour fittings, fill them up with grease, or fill them up with fuel, and that's pretty much it. And the combines will be ready. We do wanna put new chains on this head. Um, I don't know when it's gonna happen. That might be a rain day project. Nice ride. Pre-harvest diet. See a bunch of tools in your golf cart. What are you fixing? What am I fixing? Yeah. Hmm. I think Goody forgot. Oh yeah. I'm gonna rotate the wheels on my van. Watch them go round and round. Okay. You said you wanted to replace the gathering chains on the corn head. Uh. What else you got to do to this? Just hit your 10-hour fittings. Just grease it. Right now, Dad is changing the cylinder speed. It's still set for wheat, so right now it's in high range. And, or low range, or no, high range, and then and corn we run it in low range. Let's see if we had a new class combine, we do that all from the cab. To be honest with you, that's the biggest feature we're looking forward to. Not the 30% more capacity or the increased fuel economy or anything like that. You know, just being able to do it from the cab. I mean, who wants to get out anyways? I'm done with that. I'm gonna go over to the grain bins, see if them guys ever showed up, and check on Dad, see if we can help him get the combine ready. 
repositioning some stuff. I've done with the sprayer for a while, so get it out of the way. Well, change of plans. The combine's ready to go. The corn head is hooked up, and we've got corn that's most likely dry. I knew he wouldn't be able to wait. Farm science views tomorrow. Every year we've had some corn shelled by farm science views until now. So it looks like we're going to stay up to that. We're going to go to, uh, dip the head in and, and see what the moisture is. But uh, we're not going to do much. The grain cart's not hooked up. We're really not ready to receive grain. We're basically just going to run a bin full and then hook the grain cart up. Okay, get our field view set up so we can keep track of our, uh, of our yield. Typical field view crap, having some issues. Appears to have zapped Dad's combine out of the equipment selection and it's doubled up every other piece of equipment. But luckily it's easy to put in. Hey Dad, your back window's a little dirty. Yeah, Brian ain't thought it very clean for me. We'll get there, eventually. Well, hopefully we don't get hit by corn cobs. See what time's coming out the back. Like I say, we're basically just getting a moisture sample. I mean, Couple hundred bushel maybe, but we're not that much of a harvest. I was combines in the field. The onboard yield monitor saying 21, 22. That could be off a little ways, but that corn looks dry. I'd say we're probably going to start full bore after the farm science review. Like I said, the grain bins aren't done yet, but we do have some stuff to go to town, so they've still got a drying deal in at our local elevator. We might just take this stuff straight to town Wednesday or Thursday. Now I'm really confused. Do I call this harvest day one? I don't think so. Nah, ain't good enough for it to be harvest yet. Test and tune. Now I know a lot of you are going to ask what the yield was. We don't know yet. The yield monitor is not calibrated. We didn't do enough to really find out yet. So, I don't know. Got to unhook this tractor from the disc. Or as Andy Detwiler said, the soil auger. So we can get this hooked up to the grain cart. One nice thing about Agco tractors, they have what's called pedal mode. And that's what I'm in right now. Basically, there's an accelerator pedal just like in a car, except it doesn't have anything to do with the engine. It's just ground speed. And it's pretty nice for hooking up to equipment and filling trucks with the grain cart. Getting the last fitting on the grain cart and then it'll be all greased. I'm running out of arm. Go. Good thing this tractor rides good. Just rode across the yard right there. Not exactly a high speed unload. Parking that thing for now can't fit both combines in the building with that head and the grain cart. Park it for now, that head's on the back burner. Hopefully we get it going sometime in the near future. So that thing's not gonna see a lot of acres this year regardless. You know, a few more important things going on right now. He's about six inches shy of fit, so he's got to turn around and back it in. Yeah, we'll put this tractor up. I'm sure some of you are wondering why we don't use the 1038 on the grain cart. This is a lease tractor. It's a 300 hour a year lease, so we don't want to burn those up on the grain cart. Cause Grain cart tractor gets easily 200 hours a year on the cart. And we also use this thing to plant so and do all the tillage. Well guys, that's gonna be it for today. Uh, just seeing that little bit of corn shell, pretty excited for harvest. Won't be long, like I say, we're probably gonna start uh, sometime this week. Might not be full bore, but it probably will be a day or two of, uh, of good corn action. But thanks for watching. If you want, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Brian's Farm Views, Facebook at Brown Farms. There should be lots of harvest pictures coming. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you liked what you've seen and uh, like the video. We'll see you in the next one.